we seem to have a love-hate relationship with our Baofeng radios. These cheap little HTs provide a lot of value for the price, but they tend to be a pain in the butt to program. I think that I might have a solution to you for you. Welcome to the House of Ham. I'm Bob, WV7W, and today we are going to look at this little device from TID Radio. This is a Bluetooth programmer for the Baofeng and similar radios. For a couple dollars more than a USB programming cable, you can get this little guy here that connects to your smartphone and can program the radio with the free iOS or Android app. Currently, you can get one of these from Amazon for about $25, and there's a link in the description if you're interested in getting one for yourself. The folks at TID Radio provided me this program so I could share it with you, but I'm not being paid to do this review, and the opinions are completely my own. Now let's take a look at how all this works. The programmer charges with the supplied USB-C cable. It connects to the radio via the microphone port under the little rubber flap. You will need to download the OD Master app from either the Apple Store for iOS devices or the Google Play Store for Android. Once you have the app on your phone, you connect the programmer to the radio and turn it on with the little push button. The blue light will turn on. Then turn on the radio and now you can open up the app. First, you need to connect Bluetooth by clicking on the TID radio kit switch. Then you need to select your radio model. This is a TID radio UV5R, which is really just a rebranded Baofeng. The next thing you should do is read the settings of the radio by clicking the read button. This will bring in your current radio settings so you don't lose anything that you've done previously. Next, click on the Program and Settings button. And you could go and manually put in all of the channels yourself. Here's where this thing really shines. Click on the Repeaters button. Then it will bring up the repeaters in your area. It doesn't have all of the repeaters, but it does a pretty good job. The one thing I wish you could do is to put in a location manually instead of it using your current position. That way you could plan a trip. It is still pretty cool that you can do this as is, but it's somewhat limiting. To add repeaters to the channel, it's a little unintuitive, but once you know how to do it, it goes pretty quick. Click on the channel text and it will pop up with all of the channels and you can select which channel you want to use. What it doesn't do is show you which channels you've already selected. So you have to remember that for yourself or make note of it. This would be a nice feature too. Once you have added all of the repeaters, you can add any other channels manually by selecting the channel in the upper right and entering the information, say, for simplex frequencies. So let's add in the national simplex frequency for two meters of 146.520. This is pretty easy since there are not a lot of settings for simplex. Select the channel you want to use, then enter the RX or receive frequency, which we will be using 146.52. The TX frequency should change to match the receive. Next, set the decode and encode frequencies to off since we will not be using CTCSS for simplex. And I will set the power to high. Last, we can add a name to the, at the bottom. The name field can hold up to seven characters. I'll put in simplex. Next, let's add in a repeater manually. As I said earlier, the OD Master app doesn't have all of the repeaters, so you may need to do this. Just like the simplex, select the channel you want to use, enter the RX frequency for the repeater, so I'll use 146.62, and since it's a negative shift, the TX will be 146.02. I wish it used the standard shift so you don't have to do the math yourself. This repeater does not transmit a CTCSS tone, so I will set the decode to off, but it does require a tone to get into it, so I'll set the encode 
to 123. Again, I'll set the transmit power to high, and I will name this channel WF7S to match the call sign of the repeater. Here's the other cool thing you can do, and that is you can set all of the other radio settings by clicking on function at the top. And you can set things like showing the channel name, vice frequency, and what color screen backlight you want, power on message, and all of that stuff. This is much nicer than doing it by the front panel of the radio. Once you have everything the way that you want it, you can save your channels and settings by clicking on the Save button in the upper right hand of your screen. It will prompt you for a name. And this is really handy if you operate out of different cities. You can easily switch between them with have, having to go through a bunch of channels to get where you want. Just select the Save Settings by clicking on the RXTX list, and then you can write them to the radio. So what do I think of this thing? I think it's a pretty solid piece of hardware, and it works pretty well. The software is mostly pretty good, although it does have some little quirks and annoyances. But overall, I think it's worth it and makes programming a Baofeng or similar radios easier. One thing to be aware of with the OD Master software is it's coming from a Chinese company. And although the servers are supposedly in the US, be aware that there are some security concerns. Ham Radio Dude did a great video on this, and it's in the card above as well as in the description below. If you're going to use this with OD Master, I recommend that you do not allow the app to access any of your information, such as contacts, photos, and make sure you do not use a password to use for other things. And that doesn't mean you shouldn't use this, but do be aware with this or any software what information you're allowing access to. I hope you found this helpful, and thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts, leave a comment, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to know when my next video drops. Until next time, 73.